Behind me you can just see uh, the sailing vessel Tenacious leaving Portland. She belongs to the Jubilee Sailing Trust and on board her today are 30 paying crew members and they will be uh, probably shortly hauling up some sails and getting her ready to uh, depart out of uh, the port and down to firstly Torquay, Falmouth and then we'll switch south to get to Lisbon. As the rain starts to fall here at Portland the, uh, the, the good news is that uh, Tenacious is heading eventually off to the Caribbean where I feel it will be a lot warmer and more comfortable than it is here currently. But uh, anyway, bon voyage uh, Tenacious, I uh, hope you have a great series of cruises. I spent some time with these new crew members yesterday on the ship. I also spoke with the captain and you can see just some of the things that they got up to on this initial period of training. At the pin, and it's around the top of the pin. Okay, so it's got two points of friction, which means I can quite happily stand here. If there's a lot of weight on my line, that friction will allow me to stand here quite safely and not allow it to go. Oh, blow the man down, please blow the man down. Two things. I love the motion of the ship. I love actually feeling that you're out somewhere, being somewhere when you're standing on deck, when the wind is blowing and you can actually feel the sea around you, you can hear it, you can actually feel it like it is now, although today it's very gentle, the kind of motion that might rock you to sleep. Um, it's actually great when it's like that. I per personally love it even more when it's rough. I, I love sailing in foul weather and I love steering the ship. Um, I love helming. That's probably my favourite thing about sailing in general. I love the JST because of the real team spirit that they build here, uh, where they're trying to encourage everybody to be a member of the crew, to have a go at everything, to do everything. Um, you're not held back because you're disabled, and you're not mollycoddled because you're disabled either. As I was a walking down paradise tree. So what are you looking forward to on this trip? Well, I'm looking forward to um, being part of a watch list, playing part of a team, and um, experiencing a, a different ship, which um, and going across the Bay of Biscay, which maybe not across but round it, um, just to experience a different sort of sailing that I've that I've done before. So you're looking forward to a bit of rough weather now. I quite like a little bit of rough weather. <laughs> yes. Yes. All sailors are stinkers and tailors is meant to be wet, bold and down. And we're all of us coming to see you again. Oh, give me some time to blow the man down. So we'll blow the man down, but we'll blow the man down. To be wet, bold and down. And we'll blow him away to Liverpool town. Give me some time to blow. Can you tell me a little bit about the uh, Tenacious? Yeah, I can. She was, she was built in 2000, the year 2000, uh, in timber. 
uh, by a mixture of shipwrights and uh, volunteers and she's been specifically designed to be fully accessible so she's pretty unique in the world really and uh, she's a three-masted bark and uh, overall she's 65 meters long so quite a, quite a big vessel this one passengers you're taking crew on today here in yeah. portland yes uh, what's the plan over the next few days and actually the next few weeks yeah well we, we're um th this trip is from the uk down to lisbon and we would hope to visit perhaps a spanish port uh, on the way, maybe two, but uh, this time of year uh, the, the weather can be a bit of a challenge and it looks like it might be for this, for this voyage. Um, so we just work our way around the weather really, but uh, we arrive in uh, Lisbon in early November and then from Lisbon down to Gibraltar and then from Gibraltar down to the Canary Islands where we have a couple of trips around the islands there and there's a bit of maintenance and then there's a Christmas voyage. And then uh, from the, uh, the Canaries, we take the trade wind route across to the West Indies, um, uh, to Antigua, and then we work around the islands, sail around the islands, enjoy the lovely sunshine and uh, lovely beaches there, and fantastic sailing, trade wind sailing particularly. And then from there, we work our way up to uh, Bermuda, and then from Bermuda, we run across back to the UK, back to Portland, in fact, where she will be uh, uh, alongside for maintenance and then for the summer we're doing a, a circumnavigation around the UK and uh, some other bits and pieces involved in that as well uh, and then uh, onwards and upwards from there. What sort of training will you be sort of doing over the next day or so? Yeah well we do a fair bit because when you when you sign on when you join Tenacious you are a part of the crew um, so everyone everyone is involved in, in all aspects and the navigation for instance you can learn about that. You're involved in setting sails and handling sails. Uh, you're involved in some of the domestic side of it as well and watch keeping. So you're, you, when, you, when you join Tenacious, you are part of the crew and you're fully involved in it. And I think, that, I think that's why people enjoy it as well because they do feel like they're uh, part of the, uh, the whole operation of get, getting the ship from one port to the next and, and everything that goes on in between. What do you find most rewarding hmm. sort of after a, a trip? When you see individuals benefit from that way, it sounds a bit patronising saying that, but it's so true that, and, it, and it, it's, it's people from across the crew uh, uh, find that, that they tend to um, benefit from it in so many different ways. So I think from my point, point of view, it's when you, when you see that, when you, you see people going off, having had a, a really, a, an experience which benefits them in, in all sorts of ways, and you can see that, uh, and I think that's probably... I think that's what I get a big kick out of anyway.